Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. In today's video, we are going to be starting the Band of Biscuits DLC. So the first thing we need to do is talk to our good friend, Sir Radzig. I thought since we drove Toth out of the province, things would be better. I mean, that the roads would be safer and so on, and, um... Well, that's not entirely the case. As it happens, you've come at just the right time. Recently, I asked an old acquaintance for help. Sir Kuno of Rickwald and his mercenary band. The men who ride with him are a rough lot, mostly former convicts, but they're as capable as any squad of soldiers. Well, excuse me for being so bold, but there's plenty of mercenaries around. Surely you can find a more... respectable band? You have a point, lad, but I'd like to tell you I talked to Kuno because I trust him. But actually, my reasons are of a more pragmatic nature. You see, Kuno owes me a favour, so he'll serve me free of charge. So, you want me to join them? Yes, but that's not all. Good day, Henry. I told Kuno I'd send him a guide. But really what I need is for someone to keep a close eye on him and his men. Someone reliable. And I'd say you fit the part. Go and report to him at his encampment. You'll ride with his band on patrols and make sure they don't get too... disorderly. One question, how come he owes you? I did him quite a big service, actually. I saved him from the hangman. Oh, that sounds like quite a story. How did it happen? You should ask him. You'll be spending quite a while riding together, so it'll help pass the time. But one thing I can tell you, he seems to have taken inspiration from me. A lot of his men had their own encounters with the Executioner, too. Okay, so I think it's finally time we join the Band of Biscuits. I'm going to be the jabby dodger. So looking at the map, yeah, it is literally right in between Ledesco and Retai. Now, this is a new location. They actually have made this camp specifically for this DLC. So last night, I actually streamed this DLC for about three hours. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't go very well. So if you want to see me fail dismally, make sure to go and check that. Link in the description below. All I'm going to say is, don't underestimate the dangler. <laughs> he gets me every time. I'll be with you. Uh, I'm looking for Sukuno. Sukuno? Uh, Baron Rickvold. Isn't this his camp? You won't get nothing out of him. You must be Radzig's man. I heard he was supposed to send someone. Yes, Sir Radzig sent me as a guide. I'm Henry. I'm Jakey. And this here fella, we call the Stone. I can see why. What's up with him? Cat got his tongue? No. More like the dog got it. The Executioner's dog. <laughs> when the Executioner ripped it out of him. Anyway, you better come along with me. And I'll introduce you to the other fellas. And the Chief. These here are the Bearman brothers, Petter and Jan. They're a barrel of laughs, except when they're too drunk to string two words together. Like now. Don't get on the wrong side of them, though. When their blood is up, well, it ain't a pretty sight. Pleased to make your acquaintance, I'm sure. Never mind the fancy poses, Stefan! You're trying to kill the fucker, not teach him how to dance! And you, Dangler! Stand your ground! Don't let him lead you round by the nose! Sir? Well, sir, this is Henry. From Co... From Lord Kobler. Ah, oh, it's about time Rads had got round to this. We need someone who knows their way round these parts. Leave off with the uh, bowing and curtsying. We don't hold with that tomfoolery here. Jakey! Where the hell are you sneaking off to? Go to the farm and get water. The lads are thirsty. But I went last time. And you'll go next time, you ungrateful pup. Get your ass moving. Snot-nosed brat. You pull them out of a pile of shit, and they thank you with back talk. Where were we? Oh, yeah. We need a guide who knows these parts. 
So I hope I can rely on you, Herman. It's Henry. Right. Well, as I said to Radzig, I don't want to carry any dead weight. We could find ourselves in some very tight situations where every sword counts. Oh. I know how to handle a sword, all right? I've heard a lot of fellas say that. I still ended up on the wrong end of one. <laughs> we'll find out. Stefan, take a break. Dangler, let's find out what Harold here can do. Sure. No problem, Chief. Oh yes, I am the one, the only Harold. <laughs> so this is the Dangler, and he is extremely difficult, so I highly recommend training up before doing this DLC, as you will see in my live stream from last night. Thankfully, I am a little bit better on the PC than I am on console. Oh, I've got the Master Strike, so we should be quite okay here. Um, it's just dodging his attacks and trying to parry properly. Oh dear. Are you tired? Are, are you tired, Dangler? Oh. oh. <laughs> Straight in the face. You can ride with us. All right. Good. Thanks. Don't thank me yet. You don't know what you're letting yourself in for. <laughs> I've got to say right now, I wasn't expecting to beat him that easily. <laughs> what did that take, like 15 seconds? Last night, it took me two hours and 45 goddamn minutes to get myself to even the right level to be able to take him on. So yeah, hopefully that makes up for last night's livestream. Anyway, we're going to continue. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, Kuno. Drop the sir. That title brought me nothing but grief. But what do you want to know? I want to see if his story correlates with Radzig, so I'm going to ask him the same question that I did Radzig. A twist of fate, lad. I was fighting in the hostilities between the house of Schallenberg and the town of Colleen. Some trade dispute it was, and I fought under the Schallenberg colours. In the end, the two sides negotiated a truce, and I rode to Colleen with a delegation that was to parlay there. We stopped off at an inn on the way, and it was there that I met Radzig Kobila. I could tell at first sight he was a man after my own heart. A likeable rogue, with a sharp mind and a merry soul. We spent the whole night drinking together and talking. And in the morning, we set off together with sore heads, but in good temper, since he was travelling the Colleen same as I was. Only, once we reached the city gates, they arrested me on the spot. <laughs> Seems the burghers had it in for me, since I'd been making their lives hell for a good six months. On the other hand, I was a member of the peace delegation, so by rights, they shouldn't have even looked at me sideways. And then it hit me why Radzig was there. Colleen is a royal city, so he was there to represent the king's interests. I see. So he was on the other side. That's right. Anyway, they threw me in a dungeon, and a few days later word reached me that the Schallenbergs had reached an agreement with the Burgers. Only part of the deal was they would give them my head. And I'd surely have ended my day swinging from the town battlements if it hadn't been for Radzig. He liked me, and he could see it was a dirty trick, so he somehow squared things with the city council. Lucky for you. Indeed. I owe my life to Radzik, and I'll never forget it. He's asked me twice before for help. This is the third time, and how could I refuse him? Okay, so it does add up. So go on then, tell me about the dangler. Have you seen his sword? Nudge, nudge, snap, snap, grin, grin, wink, wink, say no more. God damn. I've never ridden with a better man, I can tell you. He doesn't say a lot, but for that, he listens all the better. Nothing escapes him. So he scouts for you? Not just that. It's happened more than once. I was closing a deal with someone, and Dangler told me after that he didn't like the smell of the fellow. Nearly every time he was right. And the fellow tried to stab me in the back afterwards. Well, he didn't tell us why he's called the Dangler, but we could always assume. Um, the Behrman brothers, they're pretty unconscious right now. Indeed they are. There's no more mercy in them than in, well, a bear. If I told them to skewer you on the spot, they'd do it without batting an eyelid. Jesus. Oh, aye. They'd argue first about which one of them got to do the job, but they're as obedient as a huntsman's dogs. Real soldiers, the pair of them. Reliable. As long as they don't get too drunk. Then there's no keeping them under control. 
How about Stefan? That's how I imagine he says his own name, because he's so fancy. For one thing, he's a very resourceful fellow. How did he come to join your band? He's really good at the drums. <laughs> no, no, wrong kind of band, sorry. Let's just say he was in the right place at the right time. You'll find he has quite a knack for that. What exactly happened? Sorry, I'd love to tell you the whole story, but I'd be betraying his trust. Oh, now you've got me curious. Maybe I should ask him myself. Sure, why not? Our Fletch does love to converse. Uh, what about the stone? Has a cat got his tongue? Oh, he just kind of tagged along. Just like that? Aye, just like that. We were riding from Olomots to a castle past Kladsko when we ran into him and some other wayfarers camping along the way. You know how it goes. We made acquaintance with them, had a drink or two. Then we travelled on together. After all, there's safety in numbers. I'm not sure I'd be thinking that if I ran into you lot on the road. We might have done some things I ain't proud of. But wayfarers are sacred even for me. Anyway, our fellow travellers dropped off along the way. One in Mohelnitz, one in Schoenberg, and the rest in Kladsko. Except for the stone. He stuck with us the whole way. The fellas kept asking him what he was after. But of course he never said a word. When we were approaching Barsdorf, I ordered the men to get rid of him. I had some business at the castle and I didn't want any strangers sticking their noses in. Stefan tried to tell him nicely. But he just sat there, staring like he was turned to stone. That's when we gave him the name. Then the Bearman brothers tried to get him off his horse. He booted Jan in the face and knocked him out cold. Then he jumped down and fell Petter with one punch. Oh, a man who can do that is a man you want on your side. So we kept him. Weren't you worried about having a stranger in your band? Especially one who didn't talk. No, I figured if he can't talk, he can't tell. Besides, I've had worse. OK, to ask about the last one, what about Jakey? Jakey? That boy will be the death of me. You've got to be tough on him, or he's good for nothing. But I'm fond of him, in a way. Like a son? I wouldn't go that far. But I've no family of my own. And unlike those other cutthroats, he seems to me like... Like a good lad. Well, you're pretty hard on him, though. And the others keep him on his toes, too. A boy needs a firm hand. I was like him once, and I got the same too. If we let him be, we'd end up with a third bear man. And who'd want that? <laughs> True. Two is more than enough. I'm still in shock that I was able to beat the dangler so bloody easily compared to in the stream. Good God. Okay, first things first, I want to pick up this shield, because this shield... I don't recognise from the rest of the game. It's probably a thing, but I liked it and I found it last night. So I'm going to take that because it looks awesome. Um, I kind of want to take on the dangler again, but it's probably best that we ask some questions to kind of understand these people a little bit better. So the first one I want to talk to is Stefan. Uh, where is it you want to know, youngster? How exactly did you end up in Kuno's band? You noticed I don't exactly fit in with this pack of felons and reprobates, huh? Unfortunately, you can't always choose your company, can you? <laughs> no, I suppose not. But how did you come to be with them? Oh, well, I'd love to tell you, but Kuno insisted we keep that between the two of us. And I'm not one to break a confidence. Oh. But, well, Kuno said it was you who wanted to keep it secret. Really? <laughs> Are you sure about that? You must have misunderstood him. No, I don't think so. At least... Oh, never mind. So... Where did you live before? What did you do? I used to live in a town before. Back there I was doing something very different. Although... Now I think of it, maybe it wasn't that different in a way. If you know what I mean. Actually, I haven't the foggiest idea what you mean. You don't give anything away, do you? Me? <laughs> I'm an open book, lad. Ask me anything you like and I'll give you an honest answer. Go on! Uh, maybe another time. My head's starting to spin. As you wish. Shame, though. There's nothing I enjoy more than conversing. But I tried asking him, and he's like, No, it's a secret. I won't tell you. I'm Stefan. I don't tell anyone anything. Oh, my good God. Okay, so I'm guessing we're not going to find out what this big secret is. So I'm wondering, at some point, are we going to find out what's going on here? Hey, Henry. I'd like a word with you. Oh, it looks like Jakey's got a quest. The stone wants to talk with you. If you can call it that. 
probably about that ring. What ring? Ah, no one told you about it. The fellas call it the Ring of Bacchus. It's a kind of game we play. Kuno gave us this ring. It's just a worthless bauble. But when we're at the tavern, Kuno pays everything for the man who has the ring. So we steal the ring from each other and try to trick each other. Well, actually, just the others. They won't let me play. Kuno says I'm too young to get boozed up. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. But I don't have the ring, so why does the stone want to see me? He probably wants you to steal it from someone. Since you're new, the fellows will talk to you and it won't be suspicious. All right. I'll have a word with him. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I really don't want to see the stone's ring. I have no idea what this is. We may as well try and find out, though. Hello, Dangler. It's me, Henry, bailiff of Biscuit Town. I just wanted to say, ha! I beat you! Screw you! You suck! Oh, believe me, the amount of trouble you put me through last night, good God, and that was after he showed me his dangler. Henry's come to see us. Oh God, it's spread. Everyone says it. Hello, Stone. I hear you want to talk about your ring. Mm -hmm. I suppose you want me to get it from someone? Mm -hmm. Who has it? <laughs> a cutthroat. A pirate. Oh, God damn it. Someone needs to teach this guy charades. Is it Stefan? Mm -mm. I dare to ask, but is it the dangler? Mm -hmm. Oh no. How should I get it? Great, thank you so much for the help there, Stone. Really, really, really helpful, thank you. I have a cunning plan. I have a cunning plan to solve the problem. My plan contains a very, very blunt mace and Dangler's head. I've got the crouching chameleon. Okay, and... You lost something. Um, hi, how's it going? I, I, I am a professional croucher. Yeah, that's, that's what I am. It really helps with the muscles in your leg. Hey. Come back here. Probably the best idea right now is if we wait until he's sleeping. <laughs> like a sneaky banana, I'm going to touch the dangler's ring. Oh, God. Ah, oh, no. Booyah. Ooh, piece of bread. Ooh, pretzel. Booyah. And like a carrot, I was gone. Uh, okay, I wish I'd moved faster. That would have been more dramatic. Stone, I got the ring. I, I stole it off Dang. Oh, crap. Um, I stole it off Dangler. Yes, he would never know a thing. Mm -hmm. Hey, Stoney, I got the ring. I'm going to deliver the ring into your ring. Hmm. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Is he supposed to be lying down for that conversation? <laughs> Okay, so we have completed one quest already. I'm so good at this DLC. It is my birthday tomorrow, so I'm probably going to be away for a couple of days. But when I come back, we will do episode two of the Band of Biscuits. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like for Naked Henry. But until next time, that's me, out. I'm now going to go and sleep with a dangler. <laughs>